The Marion County School Board is meeting right now to discuss the ongoing issues with transportation. We told you earlier this week about the growing problem of fights on school buses and the districts, like most others in Central Florida, has also been dealing with a shortage of bus drivers. News 6's Ezzy Castro has more on the solutions the board is considering. The Marion County School Board and transportation officials meeting today to discuss long-term solutions to the shortage of bus drivers. Right now, there are 24 positions available. We have 16 bus drivers and 16 bus aides that we had already initiated. The, um, they applied, we interviewed, and we lost them along the way for several reasons. Director of Transportation Services Rebecca Rora explained some of those reasons is because some applicants lose interest along the application process. Others were hired for another position through the district. Rora says they are already contracted with an outside company to find drivers who can hit the ground running, since several students are still dealing with delays. They even have a couple of teachers driving buses after school. Currently, we have um, roughly five school bus drivers that are ready to start immediately. They um, have gone through the, um, all of the rec compliance uh, requirements that we have. The district says there's been a growing problem of fights on school buses, adding that a bus driver was injured in one of those incidents. Other things that we're working on, administrators um, throughout the district are riding the buses, are getting on to the, so they can monitor the student behaviors so that they can assist that driver and give them tips on student management. And that was Ezzy Castro reporting. County transportation officials also spoke about starting a bus buddy program where volunteers can ride and bring comfort to elementary students who have never been on a school bus alone.